Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really fun because if you watch my first video about what I eat in a day, you know that I love food. And today I'm talking you guys through all of the groceries that we buy in a week for two people. I will say since getting married to Sam, my weekly grocery bill has like basically quadrupled, but we've taken some time to narrow down daily meals and meal prepping in order to save time on making food and cooking food and save money altogether. I'm just gonna walk you guys through these groceries for now and explain just a little bit, but you can expect more videos to come on what we eat in an entire entire week and how all of these groceries come together. Okay, so I'm gonna start first with the items that we get from Trader Joe's. And our first item up is strawberries. We don't always get these from Trader Joe's, I just happened to pick them up here this week. We eat strawberries pretty regularly on top of our banana pancakes that we usually have during lunchtime. I'll be sure to link the video of what we eat in a day in the top corner so that you can snag that recipe if you're interested. Next up is sunflower oil. I usually keep a variety of oils for cooking and I happen to be out of sunflower oil this week. I also really like this kind from Trader Joe's so I tend to get this one when we're out. The next item is a three pack of peppers. We usually get our peppers from Costco but we always go through their big package and need a few extras to finish the week so I just got the three pack at Trader Joe's when I saw it. This is another item that we don't necessarily get from Trader Joe's but we happen to this week. The next thing that I love getting at Trader Joe's is their baby broccoli or broccolini. This stuff just makes for a fun twist on our typical vegetables for dinner and it's also the perfect amount for two people. Next we have a package of multi colored carrots. These are perfect for snacking if I'm not feeling a big lunch or they go great with a mixture of roasted vegetables for dinner time. Also they're just so cute and I always just grab a bag whenever we go to Trader Joe's. These next two items are actually something that only Sam eats and they're just different kinds of lunch meats. He likes the quality at Trader Joe's better so we usually pick them up there. If I'm not hungry enough to make us lunch he'll usually make a sandwich with some homemade sourdough and these deli meats. Next up, we have lemons. I love drinking warm lemon water in the mornings. I think it's helped boost my metabolism and it honestly just feels good. It's so soothing to sit down and drink a warm cup of lemon water either in the morning or before bed, so I always pick up a bag of lemons every week. I also always grab a bag of onions. We use these in our breakfast every morning and we go through them pretty quickly. This next item is a personal Trader Joe's favorite and it is their frozen crushed garlic. If you haven't tried this yet, you need to. They pop out just like little ice cubes and they're perfect to use for cooking. The next item is all also a Trader Joe's favorite, it is their sofrito seasoning. We use this on just about every meat that we cook at dinner time. It's also sodium free, which is really awesome. Next up, we have raspberry jam. If you know Sam and I at all, you know that we eat a ridiculous amount of bread. So we use jam for toast sometimes and we like Trader Joe's jam selection. This week, we just went for raspberry. Okay, I definitely mentioned this product in my last video, but this mustard is seriously the best. It will make you never buy another mustard again. We use it on salmon and it is so tasty. We also got some maple syrup during this week's grocery run. We use this to make our pancakes and I like to get it from Trader Joe's or Target because I also like Good and Gather's maple syrup. We just happened to be at Trader Joe's so that's where we got it this week. Okay so this next item is actually something that we just added back into our diet. We used to eat flaxseed meal and protein shakes every day but for some reason we stopped and I wanted to try adding it to our lunchtime pancakes so I'll let you guys know how this goes. Next up we just have some standard rolled oats which we also use to make pancakes. I also grabbed some blue corn tortilla chips while we were there because I love this brand for some reason. Sam always laughs at me, but I could eat an entire bag of tortilla chips like this in one sitting, I swear. The next thing we picked up was a head of cauliflower. This is also something that we tend to get at the regular grocery store, but I picked it up at Trader Joe's this week for some reason. We usually use cauliflower in our roasted vegetables at night. And the final thing that we picked up was a small container of whole milk to make our pancakes. And that concludes everything that we got at Trader Joe's this week. Moving on to the regular grocery store, we first picked up a a bundle of bananas which is what we use to make those pancakes at lunchtime. Next we got a bag of frozen corn. Soon we'll be able to get fresh corn here in Colorado but we use corn when we make things like shrimp bowls for dinner or we use it as an add-on side for our dinner. Next we got some grated parmesan cheese and we usually use this to make crusted salmon or pizza for dinner. Okay, so these are sweet potatoes. We get both yellow and golden sweet potatoes and combine them. And we got groceries last night and already used the potatoes this morning for breakfast. So they're all chopped up and meal prep for the week. The next produce item is a head of green cabbage and we use this in roasted vegetables mainly. We also picked up some green apples because we like to eat apples as a snack if we're feeling extra hungry during any given day. 
Okay, so the next thing we got was Old Bay seasoning, and honestly, we've never bought this together before, but I swear I haven't seen it in store since I moved to Colorado, so I saw it and I was just like, I need to get this, and I bought it based on principle. <laughs> next up are shallots, which we use in the shrimp bowls and roasted vegetables at night for dinner. We also buy two big packages of cherry tomatoes, and we use cherry tomatoes in our breakfast and dinner usually, so we tend to go through them a lot. The next item is just coffee, and there's not a lot to say here. <laughs> Okay, so we also get a bag of baby potatoes and we use these for dinner and tend to alternate between rice and potatoes for the starch at dinner time. I also grabbed two jalapenos for shrimp bowls and our shrimp bowls are sriracha and honey based, so we like to add a little extra spice with those bowls at night. Next up we have Roma tomatoes and these are used at pizza night to top the pizzas. I like margarita pizzas, so I really like to use sliced Roma tomatoes and like hunks of mozzarella cheese. I I also grabbed chicken breasts at the grocery store this week. We actually usually get the bigger package at Costco and that holds us over for a few weeks, but we only needed a little bit to restock, so I just got some at the regular grocery store. Okay, and moving on to Costco groceries, we always pick up the same things from their produce section and that includes Brussels sprouts, zucchini, green beans, peppers, and broccoli. The reason for the peppers is because we actually do use a bulk amount of peppers every week, so we will go through that many, but the other produce usually lasts two weeks which is exactly why I didn't get any broccoli this week. This is awesome every other week because our grocery bill will be significantly less. We also grab a salmon every other week at Costco. We usually cut this like massive filet into three little sections and freeze them so that we can have salmon for multiple nights. We also get eggs from Costco. If you've seen my other video you know that Sam eats three eggs a day and I have one so four eggs a day adds up pretty quickly and it's better if we just get the larger package at Costco. The final item is our personal Personal favorite bitchin sauce. If you've seen my other video, you know this. We use this stuff every morning in our breakfast bowls and it gives the perfect flavor and it honestly goes with anything. All right, that concludes the rundown of all of the groceries we get for the week. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up or comment down below and let me know what kind of food related content you wanna see from me. I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you with a new video on Monday. Bye YouTube.